Welcome to the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, the last protected coastline of our nation's Arctic landscape, home to more than 200 species of birds migrating from all 50 states and every continent on the globe. Sitting atop the ancestral homelands of the Gwich'in and Inupiaq people, the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge captures an entire ecosystem. From snow-capped mountains and Arctic tundra, to wetlands, boreal forest, and the coastal plain, the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge is a place unlike any other in America. The Arctic Refuge Coastal Plain is the endangered heart of the Arctic Refuge, supporting millions of migratory birds and providing important denning habitat for polar bears. It is also the place where the porcupine caribou herd comes to birth and raise their young in the summer months after undertaking one of the longest land migrations of any land mammal on Earth. Porcupine caribou have come to this place for thousands of years and are a main subsistence food source for Gwich'in people. For them, the coastal plain is the sacred place where life begins. Unfortunately, the coastal plain of the Arctic Refuge has never received permanent protection from Congress. In 2017, the Trump administration signed a tax bill into law that includes a provision opening up the refuge to oil and gas drilling. Development of the refuge would permanently alter the landscape and destroy important bird habitats like lowland tundra, freshwater wetlands, and coastal marshes. There are hundreds of oil spills each year along Alaska's North Slope, already putting millions of birds and other wildlife at risk daily. An oil spill on the coastal plain would be devastating, creating a massive and irreversible ecological footprint. An additional threat to the Arctic refuge is the ever-growing effects of climate change. The Arctic is experiencing three times the rate of climate warming compared to any other place in the world. Here in the refuge, this means permafrost is melting, causing erosion into rivers and ocean and forcing village relocations. Marine mammals like polar bears are losing their habitat and seabirds are dying of starvation. It is important now more than ever to protect this wild and untouched Arctic ecosystem. Each of us who will carry forward new ideas for conservation and cultural preservation have a stake in this wild Arctic land. Public lands like the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge are living, breathing places that will preserve our natural and cultural stories for as long as we protect them. We have the chance to forge a new path for conservation work one that honors traditional indigenous knowledge and permanently protects places like the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. We know that strong action is needed. One way to help is by heading to Audubon Alaska's Take Action page and signing the petition to oppose drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Big Oil is racing forward with a plan to drill and ignoring the devastating impacts their plan will have on the human rights of indigenous people, as well as millions of birds and other wildlife. We can't let that happen. Add your name to the growing list of people demanding the long-term protection of the Arctic refuge now. <laughs>